That's it. Okay, uh, I was in the shower and the wife come running into the bathroom yelling, the tree fell on our house. And so when I came out and checked, sure enough, the tree fell on the house. Quite a shock because it, it took out the entire uh, south side of my house without actually hitting the physical part of the house. It took out all of the uh, back of the gazebo and the fish thing and the fence. And so I called the uh, 911 and they sent the fire department. The fire department came and cut down the tree part that was damaging the electrical and then they left. And I called the insurance company and then they're coming to send an adjuster to come out and take a look at it. How much do you think is the cost of, that's going uh, to to repair all this? Mm, I would say probably twenty grand. There's, this, um, there's is, a lot of damage here. You live in a very windy area. Is this something you would expect, or? I called the city last year, sent them pictures of these trees, told them that these trees are going to fall down in a heavy wind. They never even came and checked the house. Their excuse was, we don't deal with uh, trees from the, on the parkway anymore. That was their excuse. But it did exactly the same thing. And we have a tree across the street. It died, and they won't even take care of that. So the city just did not do their job. And you believe as a result of this? This is the result of it. That's what you believe. Well, the city should take care of this. They should come out and remove this tree. My insurance company will take care of the rebuilding but the city should come and take care of this tree. And the other tree should be removed too. Matter of fact, there's a, a beehive inside the other tree and that's gonna fall too. So. Okay, I guess that's all I have for you. Anything else you no, want it's... to ask? Sorry.
check the poll. We've got that. Somebody ain't coming.